Hey everyone! So this video, we're going to be talking about where we stayed in Jasper while we were in an Alberta trip. Um, so we stayed at a hotel slash hostel. I'd consider it as a hostel more than a hotel, but we'll walk you through the uh, place we stayed at. So this is what the place looked like. So the hostel slash hotel was called High Jasper. Um, so as you can see, it was really nice on the outside. Um, they had free parking and then they also had some extra parking for anyone who had electric uh, vehicles which obviously we did not <laughs> and then as you can see it had beautiful scenery of the mountains as you walk into the hostel or hotel the check-in is right here um, with a lounge and a coffee shop so if you want to eat something in the morning, you can come here or in the afternoon they sell like coffee, sandwiches, everything and you can just chill out here. Anytime if you're bored in your room, um, if you have time, you can just chill in the lounge. And then in this section that we're going into right now was also another kind of lounge area where you could actually play some pool as you can see on the left. Um, some more couches. And then there's a one computer, which if you want to access the internet uh, to do any kind of browsing. In this room, I thought was pretty cool as, as it's a, a movie room. So they had kind of made it like a theater in a sense. So they had some comfortable chairs and then a TV to watch movies on. I don't even think we had time to sit down because we were just exploring Jasper itself. Um, they had Wi-Fi here, very strong Wi-Fi, in the main lobby or lounge area. Out here, this is where you would actually eat. So here's all the tables to sit down, uh, eat your food and everything like that. The one thing that we found that was really cool about this place uh, is uh, as we're walking in, there was this gigantic kitchen here that actually had multiple stoves, ovens. Uh, fridges you would put your food into like these boxes put your name room number and when you're checking out and then you come here and you actually cook your own food yeah as you can see here we went for a grocery run there's only like a couple grocery stores in Jasper it's very limited but I mean they sell the necessities I guess and you just mark your your name as Robert said and you just put anything that's in the fridge or freezer and anything that's not free like i don't know why i put the bread in the basket when it's not supposed to be in the fridge but you can put in the green lockers if you want to you can put bread in the fridge oh can you okay yeah so here there's a little cubicle here it's in, really fun yeah in this cubicle as we're eating this was actually where we ate most of the time as the cubicles were actually empty all the other tables were um taken most of the time mm -hmm. um, which was good for us yeah, we made our own dinner two nights in a row, so just to save on money, it's a good option. And it was very, it was a very modern uh, hotel, so everything was looked pretty new, um, well maintained. Everything was very clean. We had no issues at all with this place. If you were staying a little bit longer than we were, they had their own laundry mat, so you could actually do your own laundry. Um, you did have to pay for it, but again, it was a reasonable price. I forget the amount. Like I think it was $2 like two dollars or a dollar fifty or something yeah. like that. Everywhere you have to go, like say you have to go to the elevator, you have to tap your key pass to let you um, in the elevator. So right in front of our room, there was this other door, and on the other side of it was a sauna, actually, and no one ever used the sauna. The only thing with this sauna is it looked like it was an individual sauna, which I've actually never seen before it could probably fit two people um, but it would be very tight but next time i i hope to use it this is actually a room so the sauna was right in front of a room um and so when you walk into it when you walk into it it's your basic hotel type of room but um so we got a private room you got your washroom over here um so you got your shower and toilet which I think that's what you can ask for because what's better than a shower and a toilet? <laughs> wow. But again, it was uh, it was a hostel, but it, so it had your your basic stuff. So nothing fancy, but it was still very clean, very nice. You got your standard bed 
but there's Lindsay waving to us. The bonus thing about this hostel slash hotel is the view. We have the mountains right there. You sleep looking at the mountains and you wake up looking at the mountains. And so we got a nice view of the Rockies. Another positive thing about this uh, hostel was if it was a little bit warmer uh, or if you want to be outside, they actually had this place right here, uh, like a bonfire already set up. You didn't have to worry about your own like lawn chairs or anything like that. They had their own chairs and benches here um, around the bonfire. So if you wanted to be outside in the evening, warm, warm heat from the fire. So another cool thing about this hostel is that it's actually a walking distance from the main strip of Jasper of where all the foods are, um, restaurant, groceries. So it's just only a couple blocks away. Here you go under a tunnel here and it brings you straight to the main strip. It's basically just a tunnel that goes underneath the train tracks. That's all it is. But it was a really nice tunnel. So yeah, we, we definitely recommend this place if you are in Jasper. We were only there for two nights, but the, the price was actually very reasonable. So we were there in... Beginning of May. Beginning of May. And if I'm not mistaken, the price per night was only around like 70 to $80. So very reasonable for a hotel in the middle of Jasper. Most people are turned off when you say hostel, but this was actually a really nice hostel because I mean, you have your own private room if that's what you want to select, but there's also different rooms that has multiple bunk beds if you want to go with a group of people or like your family if you just want to have people there you can also book that if you have any questions about this hostel or concerns just type your questions down in the comments below and we'll reply to you of what our experience was thank you everyone for watching there's more videos to come of our trip in alberta thank you bye, bye everyone, everyone.